the second graders welcome to a new math lesson please open your book page 441 we are in lesson three topic 10 let's start use place value blocks to find 243 plus 354 tell which place value you added first and why then draw a picture to show your work all right let's watch our video Find 238 plus 126. You can show each add end with place value blocks. 238 is two hundreds, three tens, and eight ones. 126 is one hundred, two tens, and six ones. Join the hundreds. Two hundreds plus one hundred equals three hundreds. Join the tens. Three tens plus two tens equals five tens. Finally, join the ones. Eight ones plus six ones equals fourteen ones. How can you regroup fourteen ones into tens and ones? Select your answer. All right. So over here, we split and divide the hundreds. We put them under the hundreds together, then the tens and the ones. And when we added the ones, we find them that there are 10 and more. That's mean I can have 10 ones to make one 10 rod. So that's mean one 10 and four remaining or four left. So that would be the choice. Regroup 10 ones as one 10. 14 ones is 110 and 4 ones. Now you have 3 hundreds or 300, 6 tens or 60, and 4 ones or 4. So 238 plus 126 equals 364. All right. So let's go see our guided practice. Use place value blocks to find each sum, regroup if needed. 223 plus 106. So 223, that's mean 200, 210, and three ones. 106, that's mean 100, zero tens, I have no tens, and six ones. Now, if I added my ones, the ones are three and six, that's nine, so no regrouping. My tens will remain the same and the hundreds will remain the same. So 200 plus 100, that's 300. So 300. And then my tens still the same, 200. And then I know that I have three ones and six ones, that's nine. And that would be my answer, 329. All right, let's see the second question. 149, that's 100, four tens and nine ones. The second add in 362, that's 300, six tens and two ones. All right, so let's see if my two ones, I add them to the uh, nine ones, am I making 10? Yes, so let's give it a little mark that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one ten. This is I'm gonna regroup and I'm gonna make one ten. So I have a ten now. All right, let's see how many tens do we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's mean I have and one more extra. So I have 10 tens mean 100. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take this five tens and I add five more. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the five and that will be 100. I'm going to put the 100 here. 
All right. So what do I have? One, two, three, four, five hundred. I have one ten left and I have one one left. So five hundred and very good, eleven. Five hundred and eleven. And that's the answer for my question. All right. Let's go first exercise. Page. 441 and read what we have. Use place value blocks to find 243 plus 354. Tell which place value you added first and why. Then draw a picture to show your work. So I'm going to break my numbers 243, that's mean 210, uh, 200, I'm sorry, 200 and 410. Four tens, one, two, three, four, and three ones. The second, three hundred. So we get here three hundred. Five tens. and four ones. Okay, so let's use what we learn. Add all the hundreds together. So I have, that leave me with, I have one, two, three, four, five. Let's add all the tens together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. And let's add my ones. I have three and I have four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, so that's mean I have seven ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. Nine tens mean 90. So I'm gonna take my 90 and put it here. And then one, two, three, four, five, five hundreds. I'm gonna write my 500 here. So now I have 500, nine tens, nineties, and seven ones. So let's write it down. Let's have a space here. So now I have 500 plus. Twenty plus seven. Okay. So back again, five hundred ninety and seven. I know this is sounds like the expanded form. Gonna be five hundred and ninety-seven. All right. So that's it for today's second graders. I'll leave you with the rest of the activity in your book. Thank you. Hello, second graders. Welcome to a new math lesson. We're still in topic 10, lesson four. So please open your book, page 445. Let's see what we have. Continue to add using models and place values. So we have more exercise to add the 100 numbers together. So let's see what we have. 
Oak School has 256 students. Pine School has 371 students. How many students do the schools have in all? Use place value blocks to help. So, same like what we covered before, we have three digit number. We put all the hundreds, put the tens and the ones, and we see if we need to regroup and add to the ones to regroup them to tens or the tens to regroup them to an extra hundred. So, nothing new, just more practice uh, covering this lesson. So, let's see. Find 372 plus 145. You can draw place value blocks to show the add ins. 372 is three hundreds, seven tens, and two ones. 145 is one hundred, four tens, and five ones. Join the hundreds, tens, and ones. All right, so this is how we use that chart to make it easy. So we put all the hundreds, the tens, and the ones, and then add them together. So let's see how many hundreds we have. 300 and 100, that's 400. Seven tens and four tens, that means 11 tens. 11 tens means 100 and an extra 10. And then we have two ones and five ones, that's seven ones. So we're not regrouping ones to tens, but we are regrouping tens to 100 because we know that 10 tens means 100. And seven plus four, that's 11 tens. That's mean 100 and an extra 10 or 11 tens. All right, let's continue. Three hundreds plus 100 equals four hundreds or 400. Seven tens plus four tens equals eleven tens, or one hundred ten. Two ones plus five ones equals seven ones, or seven. The partial sums are four hundred, one hundred ten, and seven. Add the partial sums to get the final sum. What is the sum? Select your answer. So. Now we're using the partial sum. That's another way to make it easy for you and you don't forget anything. And maybe you can stop drawing and just put your numbers like that. So we know that we have 400, 110, and seven ones. So it's gonna be seven ones, 110, and then 400 and 100, that's five. So 517. Five hundreds, one ten, and seven ones is five hundred seventeen. So three hundred seventy two plus one hundred forty five equals five hundred seventeen. All right, so let's see our guided practice. Page four hundred and forty six. So what we have draw blocks to find the partial sums. Record partial sums to find the sum. When they ask you to record, that means you have to show because we next, uh, soon next lesson, we don't need to draw that. We will be using the partial sum. So we need to get used to it. This is just to explain and we get used to using it this way. Then after that, we have to go right away and using the partial sum. So we have 236, that's 200, three tens, 30, and six ones. 252, that's 200, five tens, and two ones. All right, so now let's add them. I have 400, two and two. I have three tens and five tens, that's 30 and 50, 80. And then I have six and two, eight. So 400, 80, eight tens and eight ones. So 400 plus 80 plus eight, it's 488. It's like exactly when we use the expanded form, when you break the number, so it's easy to put it back. All right, let's see the next example. 328 plus 124. Now we know what to do. First, 
we're going to draw the 300. So try to make it small, so 300. That's 100, two, and three. And then we have two tens, one, two, and then we have eight ones, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next add in 100, so we have 100. We have two tens and we have four ones. One, two, three, four. All right. Now I know that I have 400, three and one, that's 400. And then I have two tens and two tens, that's four tens. And I have eight and four. I know that eight and four more than a 10. So I'm going to have more than I need to regroup. So let's just make a mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that means I have one more 10 here. And then I have two ones. So now we can write that we have 400. One, two, three, four, five, five tens. And then two ones. Let's put it here. So now I have 400, five tens, 50, and two one. Now let's add them together. 400 plus 50 plus two equals 452. So that's my answer. 452, and I'm going to put my answer back again here, 452. So 328 plus 124 equals 452. Awesome. Let's go to <clears throat> exercise in our first um, beginning of the lesson, and let's work together. Oak School has 256 students. Pine School has 371 students. How many students do the schools have in all? Use place value blocks to help. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, so Oak School has 256 students. Pine School has 371 students. So how many students do the schools have in all? Use place values blocks to help. So this is exactly what we did before. We're going to put our hundreds, 200, five tens, and six ones. That's for Oak School. And 300, seven tens, and one one for Pine School. We can draw, make it easy. So here's 100. 200, and then five tens, and then six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Second one, we have, let's use different color, 300, so here's 100. 200 and 300. And then we have seven tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, one. So let's see what we have here. I know that I have 500 
and let's count our tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve tens. I mean, one hundred and twenty. I have one, two, three, four, five hundred. Let's write five hundred. And then we have six and one, seven ones. All right. I know 1200, uh, 12, uh, 10 or 120 means 100 and two tens. So that's me and I'm gonna add 100. So now my 500 is 600. How did I add this? I add 10 tens to make 100. So let's take away 10 tens. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's take this. That's mean I have now two tens only, 20. And then I still have my seven ones. So now 627. So my answer would be, let's put my two add-ins now. So 256, 371 first. Plus 256 equals 627. 627. Okay, if I want to put also this partial sum, I can also do that. I can say 600 plus 20. seven. That's my partial sum. All right. That's it for today's second graders. I'll leave you with the rest of the activity in your book. Thank you.